Hey there, this is Prana. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to create an S3 lifecycle policy. So, to manage the objects so they are stored cost effectively throughout their lifecycle. That is the main reason why we create S3 lifecycle policy. Basically, there are two types of actions in this. First is transition action and second is expiration actions. So, the first one defines when objects transition to another storage class. And the second one defines when objects expire so that Amazon S3 can delete the expired objects on your behalf. Let's get started with the demonstration part. Let's go to the console and go to S3. We'll create a bucket first. Let's give it a name as AWS Demo S3 Lifecycle. And we'll keep rest of the things as default. Click on Create Bucket. You can see the bucket has been created. Now we'll upload an object. Click on Add Files. I have the sample text file. Let's open it and click on Upload. So you can see our file has been successfully uploaded to AWS Demo S3 Lifecycle Bucket. Now go to Management and click on Create Lifecycle Rule. You need to enter the rule name. Let's give the name as Rule S3 Transfer. Here we'll need to choose the actions that we want this rule to perform. Let's go with Move Current Versions of Objects between Storage Classes, Expire Current Versions of Object and then Delete Expired Objects. Then comes the option Transition Current Versions of Objects between Storage Classes. First is Choose Storage Class Transition and the days after object creation. We have a lot of options like standard infrequently access, intelligent tiering, one zone infrequently access, glacier deep archive. Now we'll go with standard infrequently access and the days after object creation. So let's put it as 31 days. Then again click on add transition. Now we wanted to move it to one zone infrequently access. Let's put it as after 80 days. Again click on add transition and select glacier deep archive. We'll go with 200 days. Then comes the expired current versions of objects. Let's put it as 50 days. Click on this checkbox. Delete incomplete multipart upload. Let's put it as 1. So basically this action will stop all the incomplete multi-part uploads. Here we can review the transition and expiration actions. So day 0, objects get uploaded. On the day 31st, the objects move to standard infrequently access storage class. On day 80, the objects move to one zone infrequently access storage class. Then after 200 days, the objects move to deep glacier archive storage class. Now click on create rule. Here we got the error that the integer value must be greater than 200. Because at the end we have mentioned that after 200 days, we want the object to be moved to deep glacier archive and the object will be expired after that. So for that purpose we need to add this integer value greater than 200. Let's go back here and put the value let's say 250 and in the review section you can see that now the objects gets expired after 252 days. Now click on create rule. Now you can see the lifecycle configuration was updated and this rule was successfully added. I hope you all understood how to create an S3 lifecycle policy. Thank you so much.